Yeah. So, well, good afternoon, colleagues. Uh, I would like to resume our uh, discussions, and I would like to go back to where we left this morning. That's paragraph nine. And uh, we had a bit of a second thought on this one, because uh, what we are talking about here is the number of files. So we are going to discuss the number of files in item seven at a later stage. So maybe we don't have to come to a conclusion at this stage because uh, obviously there are other things coming. You know, the removal is one thing and also the multinational files is also there. So these will certainly increase the burden on the part of the evaluating, evaluation body. And therefore, perhaps we can come back to this point at a late, later stage in item number seven. So without spending time on this topic anymore, I would like to move to the next section, um, the procedure for removing elements from the list of the con uh, convention. Now, uh, with that, I want to go to the next stage, but is there any uh, view on this one? Okay, uh, I see no hand raised. So let me now go to the procedure for removing elements from the list of the convention. Here, uh, here again, I know where discussions will take place. So let me go step by step, because first two steps wouldn't be a problem. So let me start with step one. This is the initial stage, the removal request or other information received about the development affecting the situation of an inscribed element. Step one, do you have any comments on step one? Okay, uh, thank you. I don't see any hand raised, so let me now move on to step two. Uh, step two, transmission of information. Again, this is not really a controversial part, I don't think. So, uh, okay, Austria, please. Uh, thank you for giving me the floor. Uh, given the sensitivity of the removal of elements, we agree that the clear and transparent decision-making process is important, including a proper communication also, of course, with the communities concerned. A special kind of sensitivity is needed when the submitting entity wishes to remain anonymous to the other members outside of the Secretariat. In this case, the Secretariat should follow the rules we have already established for uh, such anonymous uh, interventions as discussed also in the morning. And this uh, should also uh, be including when the submitting entity does not even wish to reveal its identity to the secretariat. So if it is a fully anonymous uh, intervention. So this is a very special case then. Thank you. Um, I, I, so for the sake of clarification, I, I fully understand uh, the point that you're making. Is this uh, to suggest any amendment to the text, or is this something that we should uh, bear in mind? Just to bear in mind, because we were dealing here with anonymous uh, interventions, but not necessarily uh, the, the, the rule for completely anonymous information, so that not even the Secretariat knows uh, who the, 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 the entity is. Okay, I understand. Thank you very much. Um, any other views on step two? Okay, I don't see any hand raised. 
So thank you very much. Uh, let me go to more controversial part, uh, step three. Okay, step three, uh, any comments, any suggestions? But by the way, by the way, uh, let me make one issue very clear. We have two columns here, as you can see. So the left-hand one is if the removal request is submitted by the state party concerned. So the state party uh, who uh, re registered, who applied uh, for the inscription is now asking for its removal. And then if you go to the right-hand column, that is not the case. Somebody else uh, wants to do it. In that case, it's highly likely that the state party concern does not wish to remove uh, the element from the list. So there are differences between those two things. And having that in mind, uh, can I open the floor? Uh, Japan, please. Thank you, Chair. Um, so for us, we think that uh, the column for the state party concerned to be able to remove an element is fine. The trouble is more on the removal request and correspondence submitted by the community concerned or third party, because the preservation safeguarding of ICH as, as stipulated in Article 11 and 16 remain to the state parties and to give like a lot of different parties the, to, to have a process where different parties is going to request um, like the removal of a file could lead to a politicization of the system. So we were wondering if we could make some amendment in the text and we are proposing something. We have sent the text to the secretariat. So if the secretariat could show it on the screen, is it possible? Yes, I think it is. Or should I just go and so one of our propositions is to create to say just not to mention the individual entities, but just say in other cases. And then that doesn't the rest of the text doesn't change that much. And I want option two would be basically to say uh, we are still on option one and it's just the same text that is going to be reproduced here. And then the option- okay. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but uh, yes. uh, can you wait for a while so that okay. everything appears on the screen? So if I can just read, so the option two, two is about in case the removal request or correspondence shows that the inscribed element may no longer satisfy the founding principles stipulated under Article 2 of the Convention and Criterion R1. That was the reason when the Ars Carnival was delisted of the delisting of the Ars Carnival. So 
Um, the option one is just to make it in other cases. The option two is to make to narrow down a little bit. We know that the, there is the Article 40 of the operational directives, which say one or more criteria you can delete an element based on one or more criteria, but just in case that the removal request is from non-concerned state parties, I, we thought that maybe option two, narrowing down the listen to the fundamental principle of the convention could be an idea, but that, that's two options. And then it is related to step four. So if I may continue to give our amendment, or should I stop here? Can I can I go to step four as well because it's related? Um, um, can I proceed? Well, you know, yeah, I, I understand this is related, but uh, uh, okay. So I, I want uh, yeah. Can you can you stop here because this step okay, three? Okay, let me stop here. Yeah, yeah. Step three, you have different version. So let me let me just clarify. Option one essentially is to have in other cases instead of the proposal from the secretariat at the initial part but the two dots the secretariat gather information and also the bureau recommends so those two parts are not changed right that's right that's right okay and option two again option two is giving is saying that in case uh something something but again the following two dots, the secretary gathers information and also the bureau recommends that part has not been changed. That's right. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Now, can I ask Tim, if you don't mind, just to give your observations? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, thank you. I think uh, uh, the first, uh, from the secretariat points of view, I do have two questions about option two. Option one works uh, very similarly to uh, what was proposed. Option two has two concerns of mine. One is it seems we are moving away now with only one criteria being uh, being a valid reason for uh, removing an element, and there, in, there may be cases, for instance, should a concerned community wish to remove it, but maybe, maybe uh, a state doesn't wish that it, that could happen. So there would be criterion four. Um, and also, somebody has to make an assessment on whether this concerns uh, the fundamental principles. And I suppose that's us in the secretariat who then have to make that, who makes that assessment? Uh, before deciding whether to proceed to the Bureau. So I believe the option two gives us some complications and potential complications ahead, but the option one works uh, works very much uh, in mind. So those are my, my views, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Any clarifications to be made from Japan? Otherwise, I'll open the floor. Uh, June, um, would you like to say something? No, at this point, no, we, we do understand that option two might narrow down the, the criteria, but it was just a way to, to, to try to avoid a little bit of politicization, but I, I just stay here for now. Okay, thank you very much. Now, in that case, I would like to open the floor. I recognize Brazil, Brazil, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, just uh, to uh, add one element to to, to our uh, reflection on this uh, item, uh, I see here the two uh, different situations. The first situation, when the state party uh, requires the the removal, and the second case when a third party. Uh, requested, but what about if uh, uh, during a periodic report, uh, the evaluation of a periodic report, the evaluation body considers would would have considered uh, that the element uh, does not present any more um, the conditions to be part of the list. 
Is this uh, possibility uh, included in the, the possible reasons to remove it from the list? This is a question just to add elements to our discussion. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, thank you very much. Um, it's it's a little bit strange for me to reply to that, but my understanding is that uh, very naturally option one of the, the right-hand column refers to in, in other cases, so what you indicated is of course included there. And uh, in case of option two in the right-hand column, um, as long as uh, the evaluation body's view is in line with the elements contained there. It is, of course, included there. Would that answer your question? Uh, well, what I mean is that uh, in the case of uh, in the case that the the state party does not agree with the removal, does not. Uh, desire the removal, but the technical ex the, the experts consider that the element does not uh, present the the requirement to to continue being uh, part of the list. That that situation could also happen. I imagine. I mean. There is no third part asking for it. Uh, the state party doesn't uh, want it, but uh, simply uh, by the evolution of the situation, the element, the, that precise element, lost the requirements to continue to be part of the list. That, in my opinion, that could happen. Uh, the question would be, what would happen in this case? Okay, in that case, well, I think in a way it's very natural for you to, to have that kind of question. So to understand what is behind uh, this proposal, because I come from Japan, I'm sorry for that, but I know why we are doing saying this. So uh, just for the sake of understanding, uh, can I ask Japan to uh, propose your uh, another elements in the next stage, that's step four, I believe, because uh, by that way, you can clarify the intentions here. Okay, so let me go to step four, if I may, Mr. Chair. So um, for the amendment that we have been introducing in step three, if we choose the option one, which is other cases, it doesn't change as much as anything. It's just that it's written in other cases, which include a lot of things. But then we wanted to amend the step four, which now have four things. If the element is like evaluated at, under the examination by the committee, you have four choices, whether it's maintained on the list, whether it's removed, whether it's placed on the follow-up status, whether it's removed and it's put in the memory bank, that's a full choice, which is under the examination by the committee. So we wanted to change this a little bit. We think that if the state's party, which have submitted the element itself is willing to withdraw in some any reasons, its element, we think that it's fine that the element is removed right away after the examination by the committee. But we think that if it's a third party, if it's other cases, in any other cases, it could be, as Brazil said, an ex in the evaluation body who sees, or like the secretariat who sees something and it could be a third party or anything, then we don't move to removal. We want to divided saying we have we are going to have two choices that's our amendment we want to say if in that case we have the choice of maintaining the element or putting into the follow-up not leading it directly to the removal because as it has been a request submitted not, not by the state party concerns but by another party that should have the chance to have an evaluation by the evaluation body or anything so we think that we should divide step four in two categories, like in step three. So could the secretariat 
kind of show the amendment that Japan is proposing on the screen, if possible? It's that in case the state party is, liqu is requesting a withdrawal, we, we keep the four options. If it's another case, we only stay with the maintaining of the element and the follow-up status. And then we move to the step five. So, because we would be worried that if it's not the state party itself which initiates the process, the state party will not have any time to, or I mean, they have at step two the time to reply to the request of any other parties, but they will not have the chance to be evaluated again. So, we prefer not to have the step removal just after the request from another parties. That's it for me. Is it fine? So that is what you propose. Uh, yes. yes uh, yeah. Well, uh, so, sorry, Mr. Chair. But that's uh, exactly uh, for me. It covers uh, perfectly the the possibilities. Thanks a lot. Yeah. That's. I I thought that uh, it really needed uh, a kind of uh, different uh, placement for that. Now. For, for me, it's perfect. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, any other views? Well, I, I'm, I'm not... Uh, okay, Austria, Austria to be followed by Czechia. Austria, please. Austria, are you online? I'm sorry, I was still muted. Uh, I have a, a remark concerning the proposed memory bank. Can you hear me and see me now? Sure, please. Okay. The memory bank for the elements no longer viable. In our opinion, such a list could easily be understood as a list of shame. And we should be very careful of having such an archive accessible online again. Especially keeping in mind that some communities or state parties will possibly not welcome such a list under certain circumstances. Or maybe this kind of memory bank was was in, was intended only as a like archive for UNESCO, but not having it online anyway, so then it would be fine. Okay, thank you very much. On, on that, uh, Mr. Curtis. Uh, uh, thank you, yeah, I, I fully uh, understand and appreciate, in fact, the comments from the uh, delegate of Austria. Um, indeed, the idea here was what to do when clearly uh, maybe there's an element with a few people who practice it, and that element is clearly no longer existing should we remove it and never have it anywhere? Or should we create a memory bank and an archive? And so 
but indeed perhaps that could cause uh, some concern it could be a, an archive that means if i understand we shouldn't publicly then it could just be removed and it's removed and there's no no indication of it so this is the thinking behind the idea of a memory bank well thank you for the clarification um i, I thought check your raised hand yes please check here Yes, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, en fait, nous avons une question uh, concernant la proposition du uh, Japon uh, dans l'étape 4. Um, si l'État concerné soumet une demande uh, de retrait, uh, je pense qu'il faudrait juste faire le retrait de l'élément et pas uh, avoir ces quatre choix qui sont sur uh, l'écran maintenant. C'est seulement le deuxième choix qui s'appliquerait. Si l'État parti soumissionnaire demande le retrait, l'élément devrait être retrait effectivement de la liste. Il ne va pas être maintenu sur la liste si l'État soumissionnaire demande son retrait, non? Merci. May I? Uh, may, may I reply? OK, no. well, hang on, no, that's no. a slightly different issue. Yes. Oh, okay. In any case, uh, you are the only one raising hands. So, Japan, you have floor. Oh, sorry, no. I, I was just going to say that it's a slightly different issue. It's more for the secretariat to respond to that because we are not like against or for like keeping the four, four, four options for after the evaluation of removal. But it's just like the state parties. It was written in the secretary report that it should have the maintain follow up and the two removal. So for us, it's just that we we just want to divide between other cases in the state parties. But for the state parties, uh, it would be more on the secretariat side to, to uh, reply to that question, I think. Okay, well, before going to the secretariat, let me sort out the discussions a little bit uh, because uh, nobody has raised hand. Perhaps uh, people are a little bit confused about what's going on. So there are, there are actually two or three different issues here. Uh, the suggestion from Japan essentially is to differentiate two cases. In one case, a uh, state party itself uh, requests for the removal of the element. The second thing is uh, the removal of element of the element is proposed by somebody else. So there are different uh, circumstances and therefore uh, Japan wants to be more conservative on the second one and uh, for the time being, the committee should not decide on the removal of the element without going through the process of follow-up, meaning getting the views from the evaluation body. That is uh, the point uh, made by Japan. Although in Japan's proposal, there are options one and two, but just, just leaving that issue aside, that's essentially what Japan uh, proposes. And second issue here is whether we should have uh, this uh, memory bank as an option. This might, record might be preserved in somewhere else, but you don't need to create a list of items in memory bank. So that is the second issue uh, you know, raised by Austria. And the third issue is in case uh, the state party requests for the removal of the element, why does the committee have to bother with other choices, but the only available choice uh, in that case is removal of the element from the list. That is a point made by Czechia. Now, in relation to the point my, uh, made by Czechia, if we are to maintain the last option, uh, the memory bank, uh, this might as well be, you know, relevant in that case, in, in, no, in, in case where uh, the state party concerned asks for the removal, but this could remain in the memory bank if the party concerned wishes to do so. So this is a possibility, but there are three different points already raised. So on that basis, can I uh, continue with the list of speakers? Uh, Poland to be followed by Colombia. So Poland, please. OK, 
Thank you, Mr. Chair. And I would like to reflect only at this point right now when we're talking about, um, so sorry, I have my notes in here, but when we are talking about the examination uh, by the committee, so it's the step four, and we have this uh, bullet point, and when we are talking about placing an element in a memory bank, I just would like to um, pay your attention to the name of the of the uh, of the place uh, that we would uh, like this uh, removed element to be um, maintained. And in this sense, uh, I, I would like to propose a change of a name which would uh, be instead of being a memory bank, because this is not any bank or there is no money concerned or anything like this. Um, our proposal is to change the name into uh, Intangible Cultural Heritage Memory Register. And in this sense, uh, we think that it's a very um, noble um, solution for keeping in mind that this uh, element was just to kept on the list. Because I, as I assume, the, the, the cases for removal will be very rare. But in the sense, uh, to show uh, the history, and uh, because some of the elements may no longer exist anymore. So I think that the, the purpose of the memory bank is just to keep the memory that they used to exist and uh, they used to have uh, been uh, listed in the representative list. So in this sense, I would say that the Intangible Cultural Heritage Memory Register would be much more relevant name for this kind of memory bank in general, uh, than just have it uh, a very general uh, notion for this. Uh, when it comes to the proposal of uh, uh, Japan, we would like to hear as well uh, some more um, um, comments from the other delegations. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Can the Secretariat come up with the suggestion from Poland in terms of the name instead of the memory bank? Yes, just you uh, uh, Poland, I'm sorry, Magda. Can you repeat uh, your suggestion? I mean, the name, the registry. Yes, of course, of course, repeat it. Yes, Intangible Culture Heritage Memory Registry. Okay, okay, thank you. A register, yeah, sorry. Yeah, exactly, thank you. What would, yeah, exactly fulfill the, uh, the aim of the memory bank? Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you very much. By the way, uh, I, somebody uh, is, uh, is uh, saying uh, to me, you know, if in a hypothetical case, there is a regime change in a particular country, and if the new government doesn't like the inscription of their own intangible heritage before and therefore asks for you know the removal of the prop uh, of the element from the list in cases like that uh, there may be a way to put it in this kind of registry that's one <clears throat> Uh, option, uh, one idea of floating today. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Colombia to be followed by I, I can see. Uh, Lithuania. Okay, so Colombia, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And regarding what you just said, it was very much in line what I, I was uh, intended to say, because in, in that case, you just told us. I think maybe the, the paragraph before the I have it in French, placer l'élément dans un état de suivi, maybe it can help moderate those kinds of cases. But in the case of the, of the um, uh, memory bank or, or register, I, I think the important thing here is when, when the element has ceased to exist. And I think it's a very different notion and maybe that answers also the, the concerns of Austria. Uh, because this is a very, I guess, and if I understand Tim correctly, this is a very specific case which can arrive if, if, if one element uh, ceases to exist. It will be very nice to have, uh, well, in, in Spanish, we say a bank, and it's a very appropriate term, actually, 
or, or other uh, Spanish speaking can, can correct me, but to have something from our memory to, to save it there, but just in case that it ceased to exist, not that uh, it's um, menaced or that you, you find that it's not appropriately being safeguarded, et cetera, et cetera. And regarding the name um, proposed by Poland, I understand, I understand the intention. I don't know if register would be the, the nice one. I don't know if maybe archive or in, in English that doesn't suit either. Um, but of course, I, I, I guess there's a nicer name that we could use, but I, I won't be particularly inclined with register, maybe more archive or, or bank actually. And no, and that's it. Thank you very much for now. Okay, thank you very much. Now Lithuania to be followed by, great. Okay. Uh, okay, merci, so Monsieur le Président. Uh, je voudrais juste uh, soutenir uh, l'idée uh, de, de, de la banque de, de mémoire uh, parce que je pense qu'en fait, il faut penser du, du but de, 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 de ce moyen. En fait, ça, ça devrait servir uh, d'une source uh, d'information tout d'abord. Donc, c'est une sorte d'archive. Donc, euh, moi, je pense que c'est une excellente idée, en fait, d'avoir une telle source d'information. Et pour moi, le terme euh, « banque de mémoire », ça me paraît euh, excellent et, et très bien. Tandis que le registre, ça, cette ambition de devenir une sorte de liste aussi. Donc, pour moi, c'est un peu euh, peut-être, euh, je ne sais pas, ambitieux ou peut-être c'est une autre, ça, ça, ça aurait euh, à voir... Euh, et une, un autre but comme, comme, comme un moyen, et, 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 etc. Mais moi, je pense aussi que euh, ça devrait euh, contenir non seulement les éléments qui, qui peut-être qui ont cessé euh, d'exister, mais aussi les éléments aussi peut-être qui, qui, qui ont été retirés pour les autres euh, raisons aussi. Parce que de toute façon, nous parlons d'histoire et de, 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 des informations, d'archives. Ça serait mon avis. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you very much. Uh, Kuwait to be followed by UAE. So, Kuwait, please. Do I have the floor, Mr. Chair? Yes, you do. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'll be brief, uh, brief and precise. Uh, Kuwait would like uh, to support what Japan is, you know, suggesting by uh, splitting them. So we. I think it's it's a good uh, approach, and uh, our only concern, and maybe the secretary, you know, from the legal point of view, regarding point number one, if the member states want to remove it, but you know, will the committee have the the legal to reject a request from a member state, meaning maintaining? You know the element even if there is a request from a member state that's that's one uh my other last comment i agree with our dear colleagues from poland now i think the name is more uh, better to represent it with that i thank you mr chair okay uh, thank you very much ambassador now uh UAE to be followed by Kazakhstan. U UAE, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for giving us the floor. Are you able to hear me? Uh, yes, yes, please go ahead. Um, since it's the first time we're taking the floor, we just wanted to start by thanking you for the very efficient manner in which you are conducting this meeting. Um, and very briefly, we just wanted to support uh, the proposal made by Japan and supported by Kuwait uh, to distinguish uh, the two paths forward, depending on the source of the request. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Kazakhstan to be followed by Thailand. Kazakhstan, please. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. We are also in favor of uh, the proposal of Japan and supported by Kuwait and uh, UAE. Uh, uh, our, uh, but we would like also to make some observations on the concern uh, mentioned, uh, mentioned by Lithuania and also, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you Ambassador mentioned uh, some possible requests of uh, 
removal of the element uh, when changing uh, when the situation political situation in country is changing uh, in our view we are dealing with the intangible cultural heritage the criteria of inscribing this as we see even from this uh, uh, working group hard discussions had discussions are very strict which means really in this list in the representative list we have a real treasure of centuries of the mankind which does not depend on the any views in any times so uh, we fully support the idea that if the element discontinue its live uh presentation or its life as it is it should not be disappeared it has been already inscribed in the list and if we are removing it we are losing part of our treasure so we need to look for the very good archive as a distinguished ambassador of kuwait had proposed and we can look for good name for it at least we can consult with the memory of the world uh, this program is not so much um, uh, appears appears not so much in mass media but maybe they have some good examples and some good practice which we can uh, borrow from them thank you thank you very much now uh, thailand to be followed by germany thailand please Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Thailand would like to also support um, the proposal made by Japan. But regarding um, Poland's proposal to change the word memory bank, which I uh, sort of agree with because it has uh, many interpretations. Um, but to, to use the term suggested by the Lithuania, I, I am afraid that it might be too close to the, the to another project by UNESCO that is the memory of the world register. Mm. So it might uh, confuse people because it's under UNESCO as well, but under communication. So I would, um, I like the idea of archives, but um, if you don't like it, we would have to search for another name. But um, the idea is to put this into the archives of the, of, of, of our project of ICH past, um, past uh, registered elements. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Germany to be followed by China. Germany, please. Thank you. I just wanted to say the same as Thailand, so I will make it short. I just uh, approve what uh, she just said. Thank you. Thank you very much for your efficiency. OK, uh, what was the last? Or oh, China to be followed by Barbados. China, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, we would like to share some of our comments on this issue of the uh, removal. Um, I, I believe that this issue um, deserves more uh, caution that we, when we discuss about this, uh, because we, have, we must be very cautious um, on this issue, um, since we have only just one case of removal so far. Um, my delegation appreciates the uh, primary position of the state party in the uh, implementation of the convention. Um, in, and in particular, in this case, um, the position of the state party that uh, and the role of the state party in the uh, um, nomination, not only the nomination, but also those, um, those follow up of the uh, inscribed elements, um, including the uh, transfer and uh, transformation and the removal. Um, uh, having said this, we fully understand the idea behind the uh, proposal of Japan. And uh, we, um, uh, in principle, we have no problem with that. But before that, before the proposal made by Japan in step four, I do believe that we could uh, consider about the, the, uh, the mechanism of correspondence. Um, in case that the secretariat received any requests from the third party or the other um, uh, parties, including the communities. I mean, the, uh, uh, it should be forwarded to the state party first 
just as what we have practiced under the mechanism of correspondence. Um, because we do believe that um, uh, the issues uh, of whether to remove uh, an element or not should be first resolved within the, uh, um, the, the, the state of the, the uh, submitting parties at the, uh, within the national level. Um, so we don't, we don't think it is appropriate um, to raise the issue that could be possibly resolved in the, at the national level to the international level directly. Otherwise, it will be uh, the, uh, much complicated cases. So um, having said that, we would um, maybe we could uh, um, take advantage of the uh, the correspondence um, practices uh, before we uh, we uh, truly enter into the procedure for the remove uh, removal uh, at step four. And also regarding to the proposal by the delegate of the Poland on the, the new register, we do appreciate this a new idea. But I'm also wondering what will be put in the register, as we understand that um, um, one of the uh, important mechanisms for the safeguarding of the intangible cultural heritage, there is a very uh, important uh, step is a uh, documentation, and which in the documentation, archiving is also included. And at the national level, we do also um, some uh, important archiving, um, mainly focused on those uh, elements that uh, is no longer uh, cease to exist or um, it is uh, really endangered. Um, so I'm, that is why uh, I'm wondering what will be uh, included in this register at the international level under the framework of the convention. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Well, uh, thank you very much. I think there are, well, uh, I fully understand uh, where uh, the distinguished delegate of China uh, come, comes from. Yes, indeed, we need to have something about the correspondence. So, uh, Mr. Curtis, do you have any ideas to suggest? Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, absolutely. Um, that's a valid point. We have a correspondence system uh, for during the nomination process when it's contested uh, within the nomination process. But the way that's drafted is linked to the work of the evaluation body, so the drafting would need to be a bit amended. But I don't, it could be under this gathers information. The Secretariat gathers information, including and I'm just saying off the top of my head, we'll have to work on including through a correspondence and a reply from the state party before uh, consulting any bureau. So there has to be an exchange, that's, that's fine. And that can come under the secretariat gathers information part. I, okay, again, I'm, I'm, I wanna be careful because this is an important. Uh, uh, can we go up? Okay, so we are talking about the first, I'm looking at the first bullet point in other cases, okay, it's presuming we go with the other cases. We, we, uh, the Secretariat gathers information, now we have this and we go putting in Brasset possibly from the answer, meaning, but you're right, this should also include an exchange with the concerned state. So, um, I, I don't want to give all the details here because there's a lot of discussion on what we call decision 7 com 15. Uh, on how those exchanges happen, but for this moment, and this will have to then come back in, in more, more concrete terms, the Secretary gathers information, in, firstly, you know, firstly, through uh, an exchange of letters. No, I would even put this as a first point, okay? Hmm? Yeah, the Secretariat, no, the Secretariat, shares the information, uh, the concern with the state party. Uh, we had this earlier, and then we have to put those conditions of anonymity and so on, we'll have to fix that, okay, um, and, and gathers its response. And uh, what's his response? As well, as other information 
or preliminary advice. And then we'll see where that other information, we can discuss that later, uh, and consults the Bureau of the Committee, okay? And consults the Bureau of the Committee. This is meaning the Bureau will decide then whether this actually will go to the committee or not. Yeah. I'm not sure if that is enough, but this, yes, this is, and that would replace the second dot. So the second dot would disappear. This is, again, a very quick proposal than this. Okay, then we do take out on the first one, take out in the first one, uh, I don't know if this is a secretariat proposal, this is a secretariat response to the Chinese proposal, gathers its res uh, response, you can take it as well as other information, take that out, no, and gathers its response, leave it. The secretariat may also gather information, and then, and then it goes through that, and then, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, now, can I just go back to China uh, for a quick reaction to this? Does that capture your concern? Um, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, the first paragraph of the proposal by the Secretariat do uh, respond to my uh, uh, comment, but actually, I don't think that I'm, uh, I'm mentioning the, uh, the information should be uh, reported to uh, for consultation with the Bureau directly. Um, because I, I do believe that this issue could be solved uh, within the, uh, um, uh, between the uh, state party and the, uh, the community's concern or um, be it be a, a third party. So, um, so I don't think that uh, I, I would uh, follow uh, the, uh, the other paragraphs. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So does it mean that uh, you want to delete uh, in the second dot, at the end of the second dot, and the Consas Bureau of the Committee. Do you want to delete that part as well? Um, Mr. Chairman, could you, can I just have one um, more minute to just uh, look through the, sure. uh, the sure. and then I'll come back. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, now let me move on to uh, Barbados to be followed by Zimbabwe. Barbados, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, I want to move back to the position put on the table by Japan, I think it is options one and two and to state that we want to support uh, once requests are made for elements to be removed from the list that once everything is in order that those those we want to support it going to um, a member of the bank I have no problems with the um, the stating of a memory bank um, however um, if everything is not in place, then I believe that the process of a follow-up follow -up status should be put in place. Um, in regards to option two, um, I have some concerns with bullet one as stated by Kuwait, um, in that if, if a, a, a country wants an element removed from the list, then the complication of um, the secretariat um, stating otherwise. I believe that the 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 aspect of a follow up status, which is listed in bullet two, is 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 a little bit more relevant to have the follow up status rather than maintaining it on the list if the request is to remove it. I believe that um, having a follow up status may be a more adequate measure to put it in place. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Okay, let let me go back to the debate later after hearing other delegations. Now Zimbabwe to be followed by Portugal. Zimbabwe, please. 
Uh, thank you, uh, 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 Mr. Chair. Uh, since we are speaking for the first time, I want to thank you for how we are running the, the discussions. Uh, in principle, in Zimbabwe, we are in agreement with what uh, Japan is suggested and is was supported by Kuwait, United Arab Emirates, Kazakhstan, and Thailand. However, the point that the previous speaker from Barbados uh, just raised on, on, on the matter of if it is a state party that is requested its removal, we also think bulletin number two will suffice. Thank you. Yes, uh, yeah, we, we will come to that point, yes. Okay, now Portugal to be followed by Hungary. So Portugal, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I would like to also express uh, our support, Portugal support, to the to to the proposal put forward by Japan. Um, uh, we are, uh, of course, uh, open to the fine tuning that is now uh, going on um, on that proposal. On this, uh, precisely this point just raised by 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 Zimbabwe. Um, on uh, so the first uh, the first uh, the first uh, suggestion um, or rather said the first point on when the request comes from a state party um, we do believe that um, maybe it could the first bullet point could be removed so the, the one saying maintain the element on the list but the other three uh, should be maintained the possibility of a follow-up as well as uh, the removal um, the possibility of placing the element uh, in a in a memory bank or memory register thank you very much mm. thank you very much well so far i haven't heard anybody who wishes to maintain the first element and the third element, uh, in, in case of one, you know, in case of one meaning when the state concerned uh, requests for the removal of the element, why the committee decides to maintain, why the committee decides to place the element under follow up. Sorry, sorry, I think I, I got it wrong. Um, so nobody, no country has suggested, has made any positions against the maintenance of, of the first item. So can we just cross out the first item, maintain the element? Because uh, nobody supposed to maintain it. So just leave the other three open for further discussions. Okay, now uh, Hungary to be followed by Burkina Faso. Hungary, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. In fact, I would like to see clarification on two points. One is what is on the screen now, uh, the suggestion by Japan. I, I, I don't know if, I, if it's only the, the end of the screen at the bottom, but I don't clearly see if under point two, there are, there are now two bullet points only. Mm. And I don't see the possibility of, uh, of uh, removing the element from the list. Or is it just a matter that, that, the, that, that the cursor stopped on, on uh, at the bottom of the page? I see, I see information superintendent at top five, but there, there is, in, in case it is not the state party who proposes the, the listing, I, there is, there is only the option of maintaining or putting in, in, the, in a follow-up mechanism. The, my question is, is there no possibility of deleting it from the list? Um, otherwise, as for the, the suggestion of the memory bank, I, I think that it, it suits the purpose. And I think it's important to keep track of, uh, to keep a trace of elements ever inscribed on the list. 
So that was one of the clarification I would like to, 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 to obtain. And the other is in step three, the left column and the second bullet point. In step three, in the preliminary check, um, it says the removal request is then directly transmitted to the committee together with the reply from the state party and communities. It is not clear to me what, what reply, what, what does reply means here? Because in the process so far, in the left column, there hasn't been any uh, exchange of letters between the, the state party and the secretariat. The state party suggested something, suggests something, but, but, there is, but, but there has not been any mention of a, uh, a reply from the part of the secretariat. So what, 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 what does this reply refer to? Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Okay, uh, on those two questions, let us have a reaction. One, I'm going to make my reaction to save time. Uh, you are right. Our suggestion, uh, temporarily I'm Japan, but our suggestion essentially is not to have removal as an option in case the state party does not want it. We should go to the evaluation body first. That, that is the point that Japan made. And then, uh, Mr. Curtis? I need to think this because I think this is uh, indeed the there's a step that's not required there and it's probably because we consider it obvious, which is the exchange of information uh, with the state party. Um, that to me, uh, I need a bit of time to look at that and see if that's not actually fitting into the second column uh, in relation to what China uh, uh, suggested. So if you give us a bit of time, we'll come back to that. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. With those clarifications, let me just go on. Uh, Burkina Faso to be followed by Barbados. Burkina Faso, please. Sorry, uh, uh, Barbados, uh, uh, Burkina Faso, uh, hey. you know, uh, I, I made a bit of a mistake in terms of arrangement. Uh, we are now supposed to stop at 3.30 and the uh, interpreters are working on that basis. So can I ask you to come back after the uh, intermission? Is that okay? What would you like to say to uh, right now? Yes, Mark. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. My inter intervention is very brief. I, I just wanted, I just want to suggest that in regards to hello. Yes, Mr. Chair. I just want to suggest that in regards to Japan's option two, that we remove bullet one as well. Sorry, I, I, can I just go back? Sorry for that. Uh, can I go back to, to four? The first bullet in Japan's proposal meaning what? Um, maintain the element? Maintain. I want to suggest that we move in respect to option two, that we do the same with bullet one. Ah, OK. OK, I understand. So can you cross it out for the time being? Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Yeah, because unless uh, there's uh, any argument against it, uh, we may recover it, but for the time being, can you delete that? And with that, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, we have to have a, a recess here uh, for 30 minutes, and we will come back to uh, 15 minutes, okay, uh, in 15 minutes. So in 15 minutes, we'll come back. I'm sorry for the confusion, but uh, we'll try to come back in uh, to uh, 350, 350, thank you very much.